Yeah, so I'm a theoretical chemist, um, theoretical and computational chemist, and I have a group of about 20 people, um, graduate students, postdocs, and some staff scientists. And we primarily are a development group, which means we develop new theoretical models and we develop new computer codes, and the computer codes are oriented toward uh, being very high performance computing. So the codes that we develop are intended to take advantage of the largest computers in the, on the planet. Um, and so um, we, as, a, as the computer codes are developed, we do apply them to um, interesting problems and the, those typically are related to either um, energy related heterogeneous catalysis uh, of interest to the Ames Laboratory or um, things like deep eutectic solvents and ionic liquids that are interested in, of interest to the Air Force. So those are the primary uh, application areas. But, but our, our primary focus is on development. Now keep in mind that I'm a theoretician. So to me, laboratory skills are skills aimed at becoming a better theoretical or computational chemist. And so in that context, uh, most of my students come here knowing very little about code development. Um, and by the time they leave, not all of them, but most of them become very excellent uh, software engineers, the, uh, code developers. And that means they're um, highly sought after uh, by people in other groups or other universities or industry because they're really outstanding developers of code. The other is um, mathematics. Uh, so we do a lot of derivations of uh, very complicated methods. Um, and um, most of the people in my group who do hardcore mathematics development do come here with good mathematical skills already, but they get better when, they, when they're here. Within Ames Lab and Iowa State, um, we collaborate with uh, Igor Slowing, who is uh, uh, a synthetic material, inorganic materials person, who develops these very nice uh, mesoporic silicon nanoparticles that are great catalysts, and also Long Chi who is also in Ames Laboratory. Uh, Iowa State University, so on the chemistry side, uh, we have a very nice collaboration with Levi Stanley. Most of my funding are, is uh, in multi-institutional, multi-PI grants, uh, which I lead. So there's one very big one that's called the Exascale Computing Project uh, that brings in more than $2 million a year. And that's a collaboration with computer scientists uh, and other inst institutions, and uh, also with other theoretical chemists. And so I have, uh, right now, I have um, one collaborative project with uh, a chemical engineer at the University of Notre Dame, and uh, one, and that's, that's uh, Air Force funded. And then I have one National Science Foundation project with five other, um, people at five other labs, uh, five other universities. Uh, and then I have another, another um, Department of Energy one that has five other uh, researchers at other universities. So uh, those are all computer scientists or chemists, but the, one, the ones here in Ames are with experimentalists. A very, a very smart guy uh, once told me, you can either make everybody you work with build a bridge to you, or you can build bridges to them. And I subscribe to this to the latter. So I think it's really important to understand uh, what every student has as the most as the best talents, and help them develop that and succeed. Uh, that's, and so there's no such thing as an ideal graduate student. We're all different. So I guess I would say it's a mix of both, um, because again, um, different, each student is different. And some students uh, like to have very organized weekly meetings with me. 
um, and I'm happy to do that. And others would like to just go do their thing and when they need me, they'll arrange a meeting. And if they haven't done that in a while, then I'll arrange a meeting. Um, so it, it, it basically depends on the student's preferences. So I have one former student, uh, Christine Aikens, who was a full professor at, uh, at Kansas State University, um, and very highly thought of. And she's also not just uh, a professor, but she's also uh, risen in the American Chemical Society, so she's very highly thought of by the ACS as well. And um, then I have another former student, same year as Christine. Uh, his name is Ryan Olson, and he is um, the equivalent of a distinguished professor, but at NVIDIA Corporation, so he's in a company. Um, and the, the CEO of the company won't go anywhere without him because he relies on Ryan to, to make sure everything is set up properly. Um, and then I have another former student who was the, my only former student who won the um, Safarano Prize. He is a full professor at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. Um, I have students all over, the, all over the world, former students all over the world, who are professors now at various universities. Um, and I have several in other companies, and I have several who are uh, at smaller universities. So many of my students prefer to go to smaller universities, and, and they're primarily interested in teaching, not so much in, in the research. And I, so I have um, one person at a branch campus of the University of Minnesota, and uh, another person at the University of Michigan at Flint, both, both former postdocs. I would say that many of the people in the chemistry department are here because Ames Laboratory is here also. So we are, in my opinion, Iowa State University is a much better place because of Ames Laboratory and um, I think we attract people here because of Ames Laboratory. <laughs>